Liam, it's of course disappointing t- to lose a game, but we must take plenty of heart from our performance this evening. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, the boys put a massive shift in. Uh, like you say, obviously it's disappointing to to concede the manner of goal we did at the end. But look, uh, the way it's been going lately, you can't. We can't dwell on the, you know the negatives. We have to keep you know looking for the positives. And I think over the last week we showed as a team that. You know, we, we've got that bit between our teams and we're having a right go, do you know? And I thought tonight, you know, I think we're unlucky not to come away with, if not a point, maybe three points. Second half performance in particular, we were on the front foot, got the ball into some really dangerous areas. As you just said, we've run a team who, who have been tipped for the title all season right to the wire. Yeah, definitely. Look, uh, I thought first 10 minutes were a bit cagey. You know, I, I, was, you know, I thought it was a bit on edge. Obviously, you turn up to play against Stockport, you, you know what they are. You know they've got the budget, they've got the players, they've got... So, and I, I thought, as soon as the goal went in, what we conceded, I thought we grew into the game. And I thought, you know, that, that, listen, they had their chances, but we had our chances. But uh, second half, I, look, I'd have to watch it back, but I felt like we was in total control of the game. And I, I thought if anyone was going to go and win the game, it was going to be us. Looking at your goalkeeper behind you, young Eamon, what a performance from him. 19 years old, it, makes I, his fourth senior appearance. Just tell us from your point of view, what's it like playing with him? Listen, I just, I just said to him in the change room, the gaffer done his, his team talk, and I give him a special mention because the boy's only learning and he, he's, he's been unbelievable today. I mean, I, I just said I feel for him because the second goal actually takes a little nick and takes it over his head. I, still, I think he would have saved it, but... Look, he, he, I mean, the gaffer's a great person to come in for him to work with because he's learning the other side of his game now. He's, he's trying to play from out the back a bit, so he's working on his, his, his footwork and, you know, he's passing from out the back. And I, I just think it's a great opportunity for him. Look, look you know, Lochi has been a great keeper for the club, but obviously, while well, he's got his chance at the minute, he's, he's you know, he's taking it. And it, it, I think he's gone from strength to strength over the last two games. In the last two games, we, we've played with so much confidence. Is that something we now need to, to take into the rest of the season? Because there's been plenty of doubters about our attitude, commitment. I think the boys have certainly shown it in abundance. Yeah, definitely. Look, I, I mean, it's, it's, it's hard. I have to be careful what I say because obviously I, I get I get the fans venting their anger out on, on social media and things like that. And, and deservingly so. At the end of the day, it's been a, a poor season. Let, let's not beat around the bush. But, you know, you have to remember, look, at the end of the day, there's managers come in and they want you to play certain ways. The way the, manager, the previous manager wanted us to play, what well, it hasn't worked, it didn't work. So, you know, the, the new gaffer's coming in. He's been a breath of fresh air. He, he, he wants to play a certain way. And he wants us to go out there with a smile and be confident and play on the ball. And look, you know, it's, a, it's all right for me to say because we haven't won the game. But at the end of the day, I think over the over the two games, we could have gone away to two teams who, by the way, are meant to be up there. And who's to say we couldn't have come away with six points? And I genuinely mean that. Looking ahead to Saturday and just finally Chesterfield at home, a team who who were have been a sort of resurgent for half a season now, but certainly can go and take the the game to them back at home. Yeah, well, look, I, I, James Rowe was my manager at, uh, mm. at Chesterfield, and you know he's he's he's, he's done a great job, hasn't he? Obviously, he's turned it completely round. Um, I know a lot of their players, and listen, they've got some on paper, they've got some good players. I haven't seen much of them this season, but. I just said then off camera, what, I, what I'm happy about a little bit more now is I know now Chesterfield have to go and actually think, right, we need to have a look how we're going to set up against these. Whereas I think over maybe the last month or, or whatever, it was a case of, oh, look, we turn up, as long as we play the way we play, we'll win the game. But look, I, look, it hasn't been the way I wanted it to be at the minute, but I'll never stop going. I'll, I'll keep going. And at the end of the day, I think... You know, hopefully we've turned a bit of a corner as in our performances. I know the results aren't there, and and come Saturday, I, I'm actually excited to go and you know, you feel like you, you you're going to be in the game if you get what I mean. So it's just it's just you know, at the, at the end of the day, I'm just happy at the minute with how, how we're performing.